-hmm. Otherwise, the lines come back crooked. Yeah, like, because, like we see here. Yes. So you have to get it right. And then you have to make sure it's also smooth. There's no uh, bubbles. Yes. So it takes time. So that's why we need more people for the arranging mm -hmm. before the sewing. Then it dries. Mm -hmm. Then it's strong and it's straight. Then you can sew on it. So let me ask you, how long, how many days does it take for it to dry? Is no, it just one day? No, very fast, just one day. If you put it there, it's just one day. Okay. Take, maximum 30 minutes is dry. Mm. So as you're doing, by the time you're done, some are drying, then they're sewing, the person sewing is sewing. So it's a continuous yes. cycle? Yes, cycle, yes. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> what? I, I, you know, I, you know, once I start getting on the roll, I start yeah. asking all these questions and stuff. Yeah, it's very important. Yeah. So, yeah. We're, we're, we're have, uh, so we make sure that uh, we have the inside of the bag when you open it, because mm -hmm. you get a very nice feeling or beautiful. So sometimes we use uh, colorful designs. So do you have a sample laying around, like of the inside of the bag? Actually, I, no. I, think I, I should have some of the inside pockets of this. Yeah. This okay. one uh, inside of the bag. So mm -hmm. this inside mm -hmm. is for backpacking. Okay. When we're doing a backpack, we use this because when you put something and it spill, backpacking yeah. is usually for Water traveling. Yeah. yeah, so it doesn't sit true. Okay. This one is used for the cover of the ladies' bags. So when you open it, mm -hmm. you see this letter. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. and then we have a uh, Cutting uh, fabric. Okay. So this is for the lining of the inside of the bag. That is bag is right? Yes. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Yes. So that one too. So we have different kind of layers for the inside. And then we're doing these handles as well. Mm. Yeah, we do these handles. They are parcels. Mm -hmm. So are those made in, this, in the continent? This is uh, <laughs> a new design we have it. Selling. Just done some, some you're, you're, you're just doing samples right now. Yeah. But the, so they're playing around with, yeah. the, with, is with the, the look. Is the wicker on that? That's made in the continent, yes? Yeah, this, yeah. yeah. Everything is holistically done in the continent. Yeah, right. this particular one is yeah. So we have these designs. Mm -hmm. I haven't shared these designs with you yet. Let me have a sample. Let me, let me hold the bag so he can take a picture as well. We're just going to use it for. So basically what we do when we take the pictures and stuff, we're kind of marketing your product. This is oh. the design we did for Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. So, so did yeah. did you introduce us? I don't know. We have any set backpacks with you. So this one is also a design. So this is a And that's that fabric right there. With the yes. Blue and then the stuff. Yes. Nice. That's with the black. And this is with this. Wow. How long have you been doing this? No? Okay, I'll say this was second. Okay, this is my third year. Okay, second to third year. Third? How long? Ten years? No, no three third. Years. Third year. It just we just started. Really? Yeah. Before I was selling the fabrics. Actually, I was started with I, I was started with an IT company. Mm -hmm. I was doing um, IT stuff. Really? Security. Yeah. Yeah. So this is CV comma. But it was like it was taking me all around. Yeah. I needed to ground myself. <laughs> she got tired chance. and she said, you know what, I'm not doing this for these people anymore. I'm gonna do it for myself. Yes. <laughs> you know, like we can I'll not be here. I'll yeah. be somewhere trying to figure out how to solve the problem. Oh! So it was like you know, I was moving around. Uh -huh. I wanted to stay put. Yeah. Then I said okay. But it was by chance actually. Uh, really? I, I, I traveled to my hometown with a friend at the, for the funeral, mm -hmm. and she was looking for the fabric. It's not really common in the north. You don't just walk and see them making yeah. it. Yeah. So we're going around. I was like, but why is she looking for it? She's from the south. They said she was going to use it for her wedding. And I was like, people really want this. So I went and Google. Uh -huh. And I saw a lot of pictures. I was like, ah, so people want this. So let me see. So I downloaded the same pictures that I've seen. Mm -hmm. And then I went back to, so okay, uh, let me see. What can I post this thing? So I was like, okay, let me try my Facebook. I was not really a Facebook person actually. Yeah. I couldn't find my name. I had yeah. such, 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 I can't forget. I remember password. Yeah. Yeah. Then I posted it on the Facebook. As we were coming back to our car from the Within like an hour, I was like, 
20 calls already. And people really? telling me, can I get the fabric? I'm like, so it really wonders. So I said, okay, yeah, you can get fabric. Yes. Um, yes. You have to make payments. I said, okay, what is the number to pay? I said, people pay, they don't know me. I don't even have the product. Wow. Then the first person, she was in tech price, she sent the money. I didn't have mobile money. I asked my husband, he had. So she sent yeah. the money. But I don't have the product and I've already taken somebody's money. I had to travel Ooh. back to the north to go and look for I don't even know who has it. Ooh. So it was, I spent it was... two days at the north looking for somebody who weaved the fabric and somebody is waiting. Oh my gosh. I was going round and round. My cousin took me to one weaver, to another. Then they say, oh, they're weaving for somebody. They can't weave for me. So we met a lady who had the store this on the day. to go to a village for a funeral. So her shop was closed. Wow. I said, okay, we got her number. I asked her when she would come back. She said she would come back on the Monday. I got to the shop, she's not open. She looks like 10. I said, who does business like this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can't remember. I was waiting for other people waiting. I got a okay, do you have this product, uh, this fabric? Mm. She's like, oh, yes, I have some. I said, okay, mm. I want it. So I want any other fabric. So I bought everything that was on her in her shop, but she didn't have much. So I asked her, so how does she, does she get them? Yeah. She said, okay, the weavers are in the remote villages. Uh. So they come on market days to buy thread from her. Yeah. So when they're coming, they weave them, leave it at her shop, mm -hmm. and then buy the thread, go back to the village. When they're coming back, the following week, she might have sold them, then they'll come and take the money, buy the thread again. So like that cycle. Wow. So I said, okay, fine. I, I want to show the fabric. Some of them are literally woven. She has name tags on them. I was okay. Can this person, this person, be people to read for me? Yeah. She's like, yes. So I give them. Oh instead of them God. to buy the just buy, thread, just buy. <laughs> oh, at the right place. Instead of right. them to buy the thread and come and we keep it for you to sell for them, they'll just wait for me to buy the rest. Yes. So I, they don't keep it again. So yeah. that's how I started. Oh my goodness! And you know what? That's kind of like how we started too. We when we came here on vacation. The first time. The first yeah. time, and then we were like, how can. I mean, this is a gold mine. We can we can take this product back to America and yeah. help Ghanaians, and then you know we can still help ourselves. Blah 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 blah. And that's how we started. Yeah, we just we just we started putting a plan together, and the people started coming towards us with yeah. the, you know, hey, if you're gonna do this, then blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And that's how we got started. Yeah. And him, he does. My husband does all the research. He goes out and finds the vendors, the yeah. suppliers, and I'm like, I can't believe we're doing this. So when we first started, we didn't know what we were doing, and okay. it just kind of. It just kind of flowed, and you know, and, and now it's just like boom, 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 boom. boom. You know, with the fabric, I was like, okay, uh, the fabric, I can just buy fabric and sell them. I think it's something more. Yeah. I said, okay, I've seen it as I took a day in that, and I don't know how to make bags. I don't know what I want. Yeah. So I started looking for somebody who can make bags. Yeah. So I met some guys. So you put the, the design person, yeah. Yeah, in the store. The first person ran out with the money. <laughs> what? <laughs> really? With some samples. I was like, okay, I like this idea. Can you put this? I came to my office, then I was still running the Zalcon, that was the name of my IT. Mm -hmm. So we met, I said, okay, can you, so I gave him some pieces, he went and did some the design that I explained to him. Yeah. He came out with mine, I said, okay, fine, let's do a small first batch, first year, I was going to respond for the pictures, when, as soon as I posted them, mm -hmm. people were trying to reach out. Mm -hmm. wow. So I gave him the money to go and buy the things, then mm -hmm. I was busy, I couldn't go with him to the market. I called him, he said his wife was sick at the third time he used the money for hospital. I was like, I want my product. Yeah. yeah. Then the story started. Oh tomorrow, my goodness. Tomorrow night. Yeah. I was like, let's just mm. forget about that. And then so we'll move on. Here. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I left him and then I started searching for that's in the pool. Yeah, not let people who can make bags in Ghana here. Yeah. Who can sew bags. So basically, the door opened up for you, although when you met it, thought it was going to be shut yeah, at that yeah. particular time. I was going to look for a calling because I've already posted yeah. the pictures he has got earlier. Yeah. But I'm not, not the product, I finished what he, the first sample. Yeah. And then we didn't have. So I was like, kind of, okay, I have to do this. People are kind of disappointing my clients. Wow. Mm. So I kept pushing, pushing, pushing. And then I got somebody. I was working with the wedding mm -hmm. who understood me, and it was good. Now I go and buy my stuff. Yourself. <laughs> I don't give anybody yeah. money. Anymore. And that's why we're on the ground we want to make sure that you know when we we want to make sure we're getting legit product yeah. Which we, 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 we meet with their suppliers Good morning. You know. <clears throat> within the same time she got an order from Germany yes really yeah, some northern um, organization they were yes. there they asked as to whether she could customize the colors you know if you have a, your company and yeah. you have different colors you yeah. can give the colors then they will they weave it. Yeah, yeah so that was, was there were three hundred people. Yes. Wow, yes. 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 it was crazy. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. That's good. So, we so for three years, and you guys have been doing well. Yeah, we've been doing well. Yeah.
That's good. So now she blends this with a uh, uh, like shadow. I mean, yeah, she I have, made uh, African, African wear. Mm -hmm. Yes. African so Prince. matching accessories, or rather, no, clothing. The clothing with the matching yeah, You started with the accessories, and now comes the clothes. And yeah, and then we have the traditional fugu. So mm -hmm. that's, it's really, yeah. yeah I don't so you know. can do a head wrap, a bag, and a exactly. Wow, where do we go from here? So it's like <laughs> it's guys it's like everything. Yeah, everything from wow. sandals to bags. So do you do? Can you do belts? Okay, so this. Yeah, everything I've done. This, you see? Look, look. Ooh, gorgeous. So basically, she can match an wow, outfit. Wow, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we'll be ready. We don't know what's yeah. going to happen, but it, it, it could know happen, when, you know? It will. Yeah. It you will. Know? And that's why I did, he, I don't know if you explained to her, because I don't know what the quantity was when you did the purchase. I can't remember. It was 20. Yeah. Was it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, that, is that your normal? That's or MOQ. What is, yeah, that was the samples you bought. Oh, uh, that the was less pieces. than um, MOQ. Okay. So, oh, no, I, I actually, I don't, the MOQ is fine. Okay. I have okay. other smaller okay. retailers in Ghana here yeah. who resell my brand online okay. mm. with me. Mm. Okay. So, I have about four mm -hmm. other ladies that just sell the brand again mm -hmm. on their uh, Facebook or Instagram. Mm. Okay. Okay. But it's in the country? In the country, yeah, yeah. in Ghana here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, I... Actually, uh, we coordinate together, mm -hmm. and then we make sure the price is the same everywhere, mm -hmm. so that their clients do not leave and come and buy from me because yes, they will search yes, for yes. the name, yeah. and they would want to come and buy if yes, a bit higher. Yeah. So I give them a discount. They sell yeah. the same price. I said, stick to my price. This is my price. This is, yeah. If I have new price, I communicate. I yeah. don't want to be so lower than me or higher than me. Right. You can sell lower than me. Some of them sell lower than me. Ten cedi lower. 